anybody who's watched our channel for some time has known we've shared that we lived in tents in a forest no bathrooms no running water for months on end my wonderful wife is willing to do that with me and we're visiting some friends and their daughter has a teardrop a Colorado teardrop and we just want to show you guys just to give you an idea of what it would be like to go camping in a teardrop one of the great things about at least certain teardrops many of them we've been able to see them in the past camping around because we lived in them in a motorhome also for four years is being able to have a kitchen with you on the road in this you have something like a stove which is fantastic you can you can be cooking you can have nice cooked food you know most of us uh, enjoy really nice cooked food so this is just a great asset to be able to have with you this teardrop is quite a setup it ends up having space inside for four people which is fantastic so if you have mom and dad you have the bunk beds for two of the little ones and the amazing thing about this setup is they also have on top this pop-up camper which is something they purchased separately which you can fit another three people so this tiny little setup can fit a maximum of seven people so a you know mom and dad with five kids could literally be having all of them together camping together and obviously you're gonna get really really close in these situations but what a beautiful setup it also has right inside of here it has a little table so that you could you know you could be spending some time playing with the kids or or if you don't have any children this would be a perfect little spot to be working on your computer uh, if you do uh, internet-based business or computer-based business whatever it is you could be sitting here you could be you could be working on that you also have wa a water system so that you can heat water you can have a shower not all this has to be done outside obviously but it's an on-demand water heater it heats up immediately I'm told I haven't tried it but I'm told that it heats up immediately by the by the people who actually own it this couch that I'm on right now can slide out into a bed so you can have mom and dad down below on the bed you got the bunk beds for the kids and it's simply a very very cozy place you got the lighting inside and what I'm actually told is that the battery that if you plug it in charge up the batteries to full capacity it will last roughly three days that's if you're fully out you know you're out boondocking you're you're somewhere where you have no electricity nowhere to plug in it's gonna last you about three days of camping so you got the fan on top you got the sunroof up above but also while you're driving down the road it is charging off the car so the car is actually generating energy it's pumping that energy into the battery storage for the teardrop and so it's not something you have to be plugging in all the time if you stay at a place for a few days and then you go on a longer trip you're able to end up charging it on the way just like that one of the great things that they've added on this did not come with it they actually purchased something called the roof nest which is a additional pop-up camper that they put up top. You got your ladder to climb up and you can fit up to three people in this compartment up top. It's totally cozy, great spot to be in. They have their son who stays up in here and I talked to their son, he says he, he enjoys sleeping up here. I can totally imagine this is something that people could throw on a super outback they could throw on a on top of their minivan whatever it is and they could have this setup even if you don't have a camper and you could fit up to three people snug obviously it's gonna be three people snug in here but just a really nice setup and I'm sure he fully enjoys that it's a really nice spot to be you've got a, a better view up from above and you can get fresh air you have four openings that you can have so you can have a view uh, nearly 360 degree view all around and you've got your you got a light up in here and it just simply pops up and goes up goes down and you've got a a bed that is designed for it for the full length and width so it's perfectly designed you could literally leave your sleeping bags up here so that when you land somewhere uh, anybody who's done a lot of traveling like we did in a motorhome for years there's places that people stop they stop at campgrounds you find uh, state parks but you also go to Walmart <laughs> when when you're just on the road Walmart is one of the popular destination sites not really destination stopovers for a night because it's typically free you have to find out if that particular Walmart if it's illegal in the area but you just pull in and you can pop this thing up family can hop out of the vehicle 
and you've got a place to stay for the night. And when you're at Walmart, the bathrooms are inside. This, this, uh, this setup here does not have a bathroom. So you have to go out to do that at some of the facilities wherever you are. But overall, I think this is a fantastic setup that you may enjoy. Some, some of you who are thinking of moving into the country, I know people contact us and they tell us, yeah, we're, you know, we have different options. Some people are buying houses. Other people want to actually get some land and build. And sometimes something like this, uh, if, the, if it's legal in the area, having something like this makes it easier to be able to have a place to stay. I talked to their son. He says he, he enjoys sleeping up here. I can totally imagine this is something that people could throw on a super outback they could throw on a on top of their minivan whatever it is and they could have this set up even if you don't have a camper and you could fit up to three people snug obviously it's gonna be three people snug in here I want to give you another idea of something that you could do as a temporary holdover until you're actually able to get your house done build your house and move into your country home now if you like this video hit the subscribe button Hit the bell notifications. Give your thoughts down below. Tell us what you think. Tell us the ideas of, that you have for yourself or simply what you think of this setup here. God bless and have a fantastic day.